If you need instruction on pump calibration for this media type, please view our Pump Calibration with Single Filter Cassette video. Testing for gaseous and particulate fluoride by NIOSH Method 7902 requires planning and decisions to be made before any equipment calibration or sampling is attempted. This method allows for the collection of fluoride gas or particulate and also for total fluoride or only the soluble portions. Please discuss these issues with your Galson client service representative prior to ordering equipment. This method applies to mining samples and samples from the aluminum reduction, ceramic, glass etching, electroplating, semiconductor, and fluorochemical industries. If other aerosols are present, gaseous fluoride may be underestimated owing to sorption on collected particles with concurrent overestimation of particulate gaseous fluoride ratio. In samples containing cryolite, aluminum is sufficiently concentrated to give erroneous fluoride concentrations. Hydroxide ion greater than one-tenth of the fluoride level will interfere positively. Iron 3, silicon 4 plus, and aluminum 3 plus give a negative interference. To begin sampling, be sure that pumps have been fully charged within the last 48 hours. Remove the colored nib from the wagon wheel pattern side of the filter cassette and attach it to the pump tubing. Be sure the wagon wheel pattern is facing the pump. Attach the pump to the worker's belt or pocket, either in back or on the side. Bring the tubing around to the front. Attach the sample to the shirt collar in the breathing zone. Use the collar clip to attach the tubing in place along the shirt to restrict its movement. Remove the nib from the inlet side of the filter cassette. Turn on the pump and record the time to the minute that you started the pump. The counter records the minutes the pump is operating and should read zero when you start the test. Remember, a field blank cassette should be collected for each sample set and should accompany the actual sampling cassettes during all periods except actual sampling. For more detailed information, watch our field blanks video. After sampling is complete, turn off the pump and record the time. Remove the filter cassette and reinstall the colored nibs on both sides. Remove the equipment and return to the area where you performed the pre-calibration to perform post-calibration and prepare your sample for shipment. Perform a post-calibration following the same process used for pre-calibration. Then record the flow rate on the pump calibration sheet. Place the filter cassette with the sample ID label in the Ziploc bag for shipment to Galson Laboratories. Then complete the chain of custody form. It is important that you include all the information requested in order to ensure the turnaround time of your samples. To expedite service, follow the instructions on the bright green label included with your order specifying the exact analysis you are requesting. Remove the pink copy and keep this for your records. Send the white and yellow copies in with the samples to the lab in the large Ziploc bag. Questions? Contact SGS Galson by phone or IH Live Chat 303-566-7800.